All right, Daddy Jack's good one of blues. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Southern chicken fried steak. Now here's what I have on. Uh, a ribeye, nice piece of ribeye steak. But here's the trick here now. We're gonna do. Got that piece of fat in there. We're gonna cut that out. Watch your fingers. Never really try to cut towards your fingers. Okay? We're gonna dig that piece out, right? You don't want that breaded and then you know bite into a piece of this. But here's a trick. This is what's gonna throw in the skillet. Look at this, Bob. Throw it right in your skillet. Render that down. Okay? A little bit of oil. I'm gonna get that going. And then go. I like to put a little, uh, a little blackened seasoning on there, you know, for the color. Okay, dip it in the flour. Okay, then we go into egg. Egg, just straight egg with a little, uh, well, put a little seasoning in there, you can, but I don't. Okay, and back into flour. You want it extra thick, we'll go one more time. See? Get a little bit better, bigger crust on. Now you can dip it in buttermilk too. Buttermilk and egg. Okay. So you got our fastest deal in there, Bob? Woo! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, more oil. A little bit of butter. Okay, now here we go. Okay. Okay, brown it up real good on both sides. Okay, so on this side here, I'm gonna put a little black in. I love that paprika and the flavor on the outside for color. Okay. All that flavor off that fat's coming off now. That's gonna flavor the meat. Save all your fat off your beef. You can fry your potatoes in it. Nothing like potatoes cooked in lard. You know, fresh uh, pork, uh, beef fat, pork fat. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over. Pop it right in the oven now. About, about 10 minutes, unless you like a medium rare. I mean, but we're gonna cook it like pretty much all the way. All right, let's check out that uh, chicken fried steak out of the oven. Look at her. Woo! Oh Lord. Oh my God, it smells wonderful. Okay. Hey, look at this here now. You even got these pieces here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna lay them on there. Okay, now. Have a little bit more bacon. Put that in the skillet. Okay, you got a ladle full of the country gravy. Heavy cream. Onion. Okay, of course, you gotta check for the salt and pepper now. Javier, pass me a spoon, please. Always gotta check the salt and pepper. Really good.
That's it. Danny Jack's cooking with the blues. Straight up chicken fried steak from beautiful Dallas, Texas, where I learned it. Let's give it a taste. Want to try it, Javi? good it really was. It's been a long time since I ate one. I like using ribeye because it's a ten more tender cut. You know, you use a top round steak is good or a cube steak, a little tougher, but Ribeye steak is beautifully tender, and uh, the flavor's always there. Ribeye's, you know, my favorite. Bob, I'm gonna leave the rest for you. Dan, you want to try this? Absolutely. All right, come over here now. He didn't let me on his last video, so but I'll let him in on this one. Check it out. Okay, it looks delicious. Guys, <laughs> All right, Daddy Jack's coming with the blues here, 181 Bank Street, London, Connecticut. Bob Jack on camera. Hope you really enjoyed this recipe. It's a good one. It's a classic. I hope I did. I hope I did it justice to my friends and uh, I call them family down in Texas. Peace. All right, you know we've had a lot of people say you know they're enjoying the, our videos as much as anything on the Food Network or Food Channels. If you truly feel that way, you can get behind us, make some phone calls. You know, call them up and tell them, hey, you need to check us out. You know, we want to take this nationwide and and maybe world, I know we're all worldwide with the uh, internet, but uh, we really want to go get up on a cable channel and uh, start touring around and finding all the great chefs around this country, home cooks. Uh, Jeremy Smyers down in, uh, in Texas. Uh, He's starting his own smokehouse business. He's been a fan of ours and really likes it. All the friends we're meeting all around the country. Ivor up in Northern California. And uh, hey, you know what? Make some phone calls. You know, we we had a couple opportunities to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, do a couple shows that never panned out with the Food Network or, you know, but hey, you know what? You never know uh, where, where this all started grassroots with me and Bob, but we do want to take it nationwide. So. Maybe if you could help us out, we'd appreciate it.